mind disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is on territory. Leviosa. I am curious about these pyres. Incendium. Fallen's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. Incendio! Clearly, all three of these pyres are meant to be lit. Hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. assistance hello can I help you oh thank goodness yes my name is Grace Pinch Smedley of the Bath Pinch Smedleys I was hoping someone would come along soon I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself you see I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake might you be the one to help me Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses, 
fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. You seem to think I might have heard of the bath pinch medleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But... I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fink. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Black. Levioso. Incendio. Incendio. Expelliant. Revelio. Scrope? Who is Scrope? Revelio. Accio. Pumpkins. Ah, I think I know just the place.
Rebellion. Incendium. Accio. Down to the water's edge. Hmm. This had better not be a trick. Rebellion. Rebellion. Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mention the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Undermining the headmaster and getting something in return. Continue. Oh, Scrope does not intend to undermine the headmaster. In fact, Scrope wants to surprise him. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honour her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help, but when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. Tell me more about this treasured ring. Oh, it's adorned with the Black family crest. The headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. How did you know that I'd found a book and that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. How did you injure your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast. Place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages.
Precisely.
Why would I need a piece of toast? I suppose that's where it goes. Could it be a visitor? Oh! Ah. Ooh. <laughs> ah! The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say, I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I'd like to have those pages, if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happened next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to find the pages. I think I could guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's sure to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking.
Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black family ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Well, Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It took the cunning of a Slytherin to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the birdbath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird. Accio! Expelliarmus!
nothing to do now but keep going. Revelio. The waterfall. For a thief, Jack was surprisingly as good as his word. Revelio. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. That's the Accio. Incendio. Protego. Look at you, beaten by a goblin. Intramuros. Aren't you a little far from that? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But ah! Send you. Akio. I won't rest. Dead. Incendio. Akio. Expelios. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. I wonder how big this place is. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Revelio. I 
wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Revelio. Protego. Lumos. Incendio. Accio. An untouched chest. Tarotor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Jack Daw didn't fall down there.
Incendio. Akio. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Protego. You're so foul. Huh? 
not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this.
it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be what they're doing to Jack. Protego! Levioso! Incendio! Incendium. Accio. Expelliarmus. Protego. Accio. Incendium. Farewell, monster. I can only imagine how the spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. An untouched chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. to look around for the symbol. Closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. <laughs> <laughs> 